Hello guys, so welcome to my channel. I still remember my humble self, MC Bernardino. Thank you very much for always coming back to Canada Immigration with MC Bernardino. Thanks for this community that we've been building, practicing these people as far as migrating to Canada. What are the requirements? All right, I need to share this with you guys. We have over 800 subscribers on this channel. It's kudos to you guys because without you guys, this channel is actually nothing. Thanks so much. All right, let's get into the nitty gritty. Are you out there thinking about Proof of fund in Canada, how you want to go about the proof of fund, you're coming in for the express entry, you don't know how to build a proof of fund, you're coming on the study permit, visitors visa, how much is the requirement? Every time the proof of fund keeps changing, what is the latest one? So on this episode today, I'll be telling you about what is the proof of fund requirement as far as migrating to Canada is concerned. What is considered proof of fund, what is not considered, how can you go about it? So you want to stay tuned and gun tight. Don't forget I'll think about the segment where I always give it to you you think about it and you act on it all right let me quickly tell you about the disclaimer for today all right don't forget i'm not a lawyer i'm not a consultant i'm just doing this out of my own volition all right so whatever you want to make your own immigration decision feel free to do that i'm just here to guide you all right let's get into business shall we begin Right, so let me quickly give you an insight into what the proof of fund is all about. So the proof of fund is just basically saying that when you're migrating into Canada, Canada wants Canada government wants to be sure that you are not going to be a burden into the government, onto the government of Canada. So meaning that when you migrate into Canada, you have enough money have been issued so that when you come into Canada for the first one, two months, you have something to survive on, to feed yourself, to feed your family. So that is why the proof of fund is being insisted on. So who are those that need proof of fund? So if you are applying for the federal skilled trade or federal as a federal skilled worker, you need to show a substantial proof of fund. I will be telling you how much as it, um, as this video um, unfolds. So who are those that don't need proof of fund? If you are applying for the Canada Experience Class, which is the CEC, you don't need to show proof of fund. Likewise, if you already have a job while you migrated into Canada, you don't need to show proof of fund. So these are the two various classes of people that need proof of fund and that do not require proof of fund. So how much exactly do you need as a proof of fund? All right, so in order for you to determine how much you need exactly as a proof of fund, you need to consider so many factors like, okay, yourself as a primary applicant, how many dependents do you have? Now you have to, if you're married, you need to consider your spouse, which is your dependent. Do you have children? They are also your dependent. Your spouse too might also have some dependents. So those are the factors that determines how much you need to relatively have in your bank account when you're applying uh, for either express entry or as the case may be any of federal skilled worker or as a federal trade worker all right so how much exactly do you need so one thing you need to know again is this irrespective, irrespective of whether your dependent is coming with you to canada whether they are migrating with, to canada or not you still need to show this proof of fund in as much as they are your dependent they are coming into canada or not the proof of fund must be able to be there in your bank account and you need to have a written document to prove that so exactly how much do you need to as a proof of fund so all right for a family size of one you're looking at According to the uh, the recent update as of February 2019, for a family of one, you're looking at 12,669 Canadian dollars. For a family of two, you're looking at 15,772 Canadian dollars. A family of three will be good with 19,390 Canadian dollars. For a family of four, we're looking at 23,542 Canadian dollars. For a family of six, with dependents, you're looking at 30,114 Canadian dollars. So, for a family of seven, 33,528 will suffice for you as a proof of fund. So for extra independent that you have above seven, you're looking at 3,414 Canadian dollars additionally. So with that in your bank account, you should be good for proof of fund. So all you need to do is this. You need to think about what is the family size, what's your dependent size, how, much, how many are you guys, how many of you are applying, are coming with you to Canada in order for you to know exactly how much you need as a proof of fun. So I hope you enjoyed this information so far. If you feel you enjoyed this video, why not hit the likes button? If you have not subscribed, what are you waiting for? The subscription button is right here. Hit the subscription button and right beside it, there's a notification. So anytime I drop a video, you'll be among the first to get it. All right, so what is accepted as a proof of fun? So in order for you to show a proof of fund, so you need to be able to back that with the letter. So you need to get a letter from your financial uh, institution to show that the money you, you claim you have, 
you have it in your bank account. What is not considered as a proof of fund? So if you borrow money from your friends, Canada Immigration, Canada government doesn't accept it as a proof of fund. So borrow money is never accepted as a proof of fund. If you have um, cars, um, properties, those are not considered as proof of fund. So proof of fund are the finance that actually belong to you and readily accessible in your bank account. So earlier I said that you need to be able to back that with a letter from your financial institution. So these are what Canada Immigration, Canada government looked at on the letter that needs to be present on the letter that you're using to show your proof of fund. One, it needs to be printed on the letterhead of the financial institution. Another thing again is that it, the information of the financial institution in terms of their address, their uh, email, their mailing address needs to be included. The name of the financial institution too needs to be on the letter. Another thing again is that on the letter that's that probably was given to you by your financial institution they need to show how much you have as at when the letter was printed the loans you have the credit card you have do you have any debt everything needs to be included in the letter and another thing again is that the letter needs to also show that the various bank accounts you have with them do you have a checkings account savings account all other accounts you have needs to be shown on the letter so this is the letter that you print out and you submit with your information when you are applying to migrate to Canada Another thing again that is worthy of note is that on your arrival in Canada, whatever amount you have presently with you, you need to declare it to the customs. So according to the custom rule, anything above 10,000 Canadian dollars needs to be declared at the port of entry. You could be fined for not declaring it, so you have to be very careful. Anything above 10,000 Canadian dollars, you need to declare it. Also, in addition to this, I told you about the proof of fund. So in a, apart from cash, there are also some um some legal tenders that you can actually use to prove proof of fund such as stocks so if you have stocks it can also suffice um bonds debentures treasury bills they can also suffice as proof of fund so if you have a banker's draft bank banker's draft checks traveler's checks this can also suffice as proof of fund so it doesn't have to relatively be the cash in your in your hand or the one you have in the bank account so other uh, legal tenders can also serve as proof of fund so with this information, I hope you actually understand, understood what I meant by, what Canada government rather meant by proof of fund and how you can actually go about it. The requirements, the family size, and all you need to know about. Alright, so don't mind the background noise. Actually, we are actually outside, we're shooting outside and in summer everybody's actually doing one or two activities outside. So what is the duration? How long does the money need to be in your account? So it needs to be in your account at least minimum of six months. You need to show the trend of the money into and out of your account for the last six months. Something you have to be very careful of this. You don't have to just do any ambiguous or arbitrary transferring of money into your bank account just because you want to prove um, you have enough money in your bank account. So meaning that initially on a monthly basis you have like 100,000 going into your bank account and all of a sudden you just transferred 5 million today. The next day you're transferring 7 million. That could actually raise a red flag. So you have to be very careful with the way you put money into your bank account, the way the transaction goes within that six months. You have to be very careful of that. Another thing again that you can use to use to serve as a proof of fund is um, gift deed. So take for instance if your friend or a family member is actually supporting you with finance, you need to prove that with the gift deed, showing that the person is actually giving you the money rather than borrowing you to collect it. But don't forget I told you that borrowed money is not accepted as a proof of fund and the gift deed is better if it's coming from a direct or a close relation than from coming from an outsider okay so on the think about this segment today i will be giving you a quote from nell young he simply said as important as the funds are the vision is the greatest gift so that simply means that in as much as the proof of fund you're so perturbed about how you want to show your proof of fund or how can i convince the immigration officer that i have so so amount of money in my bank account the greatest gift is the vision of coming into canada so that should be your paramount driving force that should be the force driving you so you want to make sure that everything is in place towards your migration to canada proof of fund is important but your vision is the ultimate goal all right it's been real i've been trying to keep it real with you i hope you understood everything i've said so far if you have any question if you have any concern there's anything you're not clear about why not drop it in the comment section below if you enjoyed this video hit the thumbs up button if you have not subscribed like i always speak with you hit the subscription button and right beside it there's a notification button that tells you anytime i drop a video um, it's, it's been nice hanging out with you guys I still remember humble self mc benedict